Washington Nationals, and the Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Mastersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me are Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Steve, obviously, things still up in the air as we get ready for Game 6. Yeah, and it's been a tight series so far. And I don't think any of us thought that we'd be done in four or five games. But now, we're back to against the wall time. This series is just the rotation. Now these guys need to win the final two games and ask the ball to win it. And at the very least, they're going to have a raucous crowd behind them to help them try and get it done. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Game six of the World Series at Fenway Park. Well, gee, where we had that for? I don't know, maybe two years ago. <laughs> uh, there's only one difference. We're leading the series three to two right now. So, game six, a chance to clinch this thing right here, right now, or else we're going into game seven, and this one is, oh, my God, I almost killed someone today. <laughs> so, 0-2 to Eric Franklin, that'll be fouled off, let's see if this gets out, oh, wow, you saw that to head off that uh, little light post there, I don't know if it's going to call it. Anyway, 0-2, oh, this is going to be a dribbler right back to the catcher. And he is out for the final out of the inning. So we'll go to the top of the fifth. It is a 1-0 Nationals lead. Runner at first. Let's see if we can be clutch like Frank Garner in the World Series. Oh, yeah, you all remember that World Series, uh... Uh, hit that second inning grand slam. I think it was the second inning. And that kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. And then he uh, threw, up, threw out a runner from center field to end the World Series. Yeah, nice way to end the World Series. No big deal. Of course, the next year we got to get straight to the Yankees. But that's a whole other story for another day. Actually, you know what? How about you watch videos instead of just listening to me ramble on about it on a completely off topic. Well, not completely off topic. Completely off topic. Ah, off-topic so video. So there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. Anyway, uh, Pigeon Coach is going to talk to the play Buckles. Let's see if that works out. To our advantage. 3-1 count to Ian Desmond. Runs at first and second. That looked a bit outside of me. But whatever. So full count now. We're going to be scope if this run will not seal. Doesn't look like it was going. Doesn't matter because guess what? Ian Desmond walks. And now the well, bases are loaded. Nobody else. But I don't think a walk was what he of course, we can also go into a trip play, play, but I mean, what are the chances of that happening in the World Series? Not a lot happens in the World Series, people. I mean, perfect games don't happen in the World Series. So, what makes you think a triple play is going to be happening in the World Series? Anyway, 1-2 to Nate McLeod, and he's going to rip one past the first baseman, Napoli, I think it was Napoli, four base hit, one run scores, second one, Eric Franklin comes in to score, and it is now a 3-2-0 to nothing ball game. Nate McLeod, who are, whose number I stole, knocks in two runs, and oh my god, the score just got crazy. It is seven to nothing. Clay Buckles is well. No, is that still Clay Buckles? It's still on the mound. Meanwhile, it is now eight to nothing because Eric Franklin just hit a home run. So this game kind of just got out of hand, and now we're basically walking our way to a World Series trophy. Seriously, what is that rap? 
when a team basically walked you want to, talk about to a World about Series championship. 410 feet. And when that thing comes down, this game is out of reach for the Red Sox. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so it's 11 nothing in the seventh inning. One out. Oh, I'll try to hit another one before we go, but nope. This one's gonna be popped up right to the third baseman, and that was not really good at bat. But at this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, look at the score. Still 11 up the game to top the ninth. So basically this game is all but over. If the Red Sox had a chance before, well there's no chance now unless they go on, on a complete tear that nobody, not even Little League, has ever done. Well except for that one team a few years back that I keep on mentioning that California team that scored 10 runs. But that was 10 runs. They're down by the Yeah, I didn't think so. By the way, I think our starting pitcher is still in the game. This is kind of like a Frank Gardner series because Tyson Ross, he was pitching a complete game. Actually, he had a no hitter through the sixth inning. And he finished with a complete game shot. So maybe Tanner, Tanner Roark can finish off the World Series in style. 3 2 count. Two outs. Got him. World Series champions. We are the champions. Oh, excuse me. No, that's not Tanner Warp. That's Jordan Zimmerman. Excuse me. Make some of my plays. It doesn't really matter, though. We won the World Series. You see right there, everyone's getting hyped. And, uh, and the fans in Boston are just not really happy right now. Meanwhile, Nationals fans, they're exploding. They're probably fireworks going up right now. Uh, the, fire, the, the White House is just going crazy. Yeah. Actually, by then, Obama is still be president, so yeah. Obama's probably going crazy, even though it's not the Chicago White House. Actually, if, if we were facing the Chicago White Sox, he would probably be a ridiculous set. But those are stories for now, then. So you see right there, everyone is getting happy in the National Dugout. And unfortunately, the MOT is going to not retire with one more trophy under his belt. Who is this guy carrying the trophy? This guy's out on the veteran team, or unless it is John. Oh, he's gonna follow. Anyway, so we are your 2015 World Series champions in real life. Of course, that will be the, the Royals. And in this game, Bryce Harper does get his ring. Okay, really? You all didn't get a go. Just look up uh, Bryce Harper, where's my ring, and you'll see. Anyway, there it is to confirm it. The Nationals haven't won the World Series. Now let's go over these retirees for a little bit. Nate McLeod is retiring. The opposite gets a beautiful number. I don't know. And Shane Victorino. I was running through the six with my walk. You know how that shit go. When they lost in the ALCS. <laughs> I got jokes in. So, uh, we don't end up signing, we signing another contract, we end up getting renewed. And this is our line for next year. Yeah, you know, we're hungry for another one. As we're still taking Anthony Rendon's job. And, yeah. Ready for another season. 
let's get into it next episode. For now, have a good day. Well, that'll be it. I will see you later. Thank you guys for watching. Um, check out more of my YouTube videos. Like, um, subscribe. I have an XFM account. Um, <clears throat> add me on PSN. And also check out my Google Plus page. Or check out the previous video. Whatever you want to do. I really could care less. <laughs>